how is your experience with with your are you on a label no. I, I haven't looked you're not no, you're on we, your own we're doing it ourselves yeah because we when we first started uh looking at how we were going to release this we, we went and uh looked at labels and they weren't going to do anything we couldn't do mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they were going to take a cut it was like why why are we going to give you a cut for something that we can do and like the only advantage of going to a label is getting money up front and the money wasn't that good can you just explain for the people because uh my followers are fairly educated they're very smart um so they can keep up but basically from your words can you just kind of uh, just briefly outline how the the advance process works with with record labels and your contracts yeah i mean it, when when you uh when you sign a deal w with a record company you you usually get an advance which is an advance on the sales of, of projected sales of your record and once they sell they start selling your record and they recoup all that then you start getting your royalties and whatever um but you yeah. know you get that money up front you, 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 and you usually use that money to to record make your record and and market and do other things and the thing that they probably what they would love to take advantage of and what they always took advantage of for the longest time was that they you it would seem as if you're getting prince laid this out so perfectly in one like somewhere they pitch it as if you're getting a $1.5 million contract, but with that $1.5 million is an advance, essentially. Yeah. And if you don't make that money in sales, that's going to have to come out of your own pocket if you haven't spent that one point five in production already. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the biggest misconception about the music industry is that people make all this money. And you're like, well, record deals aren't ever... And the old way is based on actual albums, like actual yeah. disc sales, right? And nobody does that anymore. So, no, and, it's and, streaming. And you get, you know, a, a fraction of a penny per stream. <laughs> well, let's talk about it really quick. So, like, what has your experience been in terms of the money made on on CDs versus actual comparable, how comparable it, it is to... I mean, if you're comparing CD sales now, it's, it's abysmal. But nobody buys CDs anymore. Um, back in the day, but the cost doesn't even equate. Like, yeah, no. the money you'd be making on a song off an album, if you were to divvy it up, doesn't even come close to the amount if you were to go to Spotify and press play. Yeah, no, not, not, not at all. You know, somebody's making money off of that, but it's not the artists. <laughs> it's never the artist. Yeah, yeah you, you wrote the song, but here's here's a little something for you. Hey. I think that's that was like the <laughs> biggest. Um, I wanted to, like, when I went to law school, I went with the intention of wanting to be a music lawyer. Like, I wanted to represent artists and bands. And once I realized, oh, it's like the big four and a couple indies versus you're just like, you either produce your own music or you're out of luck. And yeah. I was like, oh, 